hi friends welcome to my channel and this is part 3 video in VMware disaster recovery where we are using combination of uh, vSphere replication and SRM so in last video we have installed and configured VMware vSphere replication 8.3.0 in our both primary prod and DR sites so now uh, we, we are in this video we are going to configure the site replication for two virtual machines so let's guess started so this is our demo infrastructure which we have created in last few videos and where we have uh, created our vSpace uh, v, uh, vCenter server we have installed and configured our v, VMware vSphere replication server in last video we have deployed for both production and um, and DR environment and now we have a two virtual machines which is running on our production environment and we are going to replicate these two virtual machine to our target site which is our DR site so let's validate the infrastructure first so this is the infrastructure uh, we have one active directory server which is running active directory and DNS role this is my iSCSI server which is running basically um, uh, providing the data stores to my environments uh, ESXi environments and this is my console machine from which is running Windows 10 I'm using this machine to do the administration task for the vCenter infrastructure and these are the two ESXi basically two ESXi for prod and two ESXi for DR all are running uh, VMware ESXi 7.0 and if I go here you can see I got two uh, vCenter servers which is uh, invcsa01.vectorinfrastructure.lan which is my production environment production vcenter server and i got indr vcs01 which is basically my uh, dr uh, vcenter server so this is my source and this is my uh, uh, target server target vcenter infrastructure so so uh, for example uh, the uh, you can understand these two vcenter server is uh, in a same office or a same uh, same building so just going to create the replication for uh, two virtual machines from the uh, source vcenter server to the target vcenter so we have a vcenter server in place we we got uh, a replication appliance in place we got two esxi host on two esxi we got some vm and we have a v, uh, vmware vSphere web client from where we are going to all the administration so let's get started so I'm on production uh, vCenter server and going to click on menu and then we got a shortcuts so on the shortcut we you can see the site recovery so if I click here you can see the server name invcs01 and we got the we got the uh, all check button like status of the VR, uh, VMware vSphere replication is ok and these are the IP address of the replication appliance and this is the build version so we are good so open site recovery so last video we have configured the pair site pair which is going to be our production site INVCSA01 to our DR site which is INDRVCSA01 so we have configured the site pair in last video but we have not created any replication so I'm going to create now replication now so just click on view details or either you can uh, click on new pair and other details so I'm going to click on this view details so it's going to ask you credential so I'm going to provide my credential to connect to uh, DR vCenter server so administrator at vSphere.local and password for this click on login so now you can see if I go here on a summary page we got the vCenter servers both production and uh, DR both are running uh, vCenter server identical version and the host name and the status is also make sure the status is connected and we are good with this so everything is good if you if you see this like server uh, remote VR connection connected connected so we are good so connection is established and everything is good just we need to create the replication so once you val validate the all the information here and you are good to create the replication then you can go here on replications and from the outgoing basically 
you need to configure the outgoing so it's going to from our production to DR so this is called outgoing and if you go here incoming so you will see from DR basically it's going to come to our uh, production so you can configure both way uh, replication from a single console so I'm going to configure outgoing from our production to DR so just click on new and you got the auto assign vSphere replication server if you have a multiple server it can be auto assign and if you have like um, multiple you can select the manual either you can go ahead with the uh, automatic assignment also so click next and then you got the all the virtual machine listed here so I'm going to select both the virtual machine here uh, Windows virtual machine basically which is running Windows 2012 R2 so I have selected both the virtual machine you can see two virtual machines got selected so click next and now you have a disk format so what type of disk format you want to use so I want to use thick provision and the data store I'm going to select DR DR cluster uh, DR uh, data store cluster so in that we have to select specific data store so I'm going to select DS01 just for example and select seed seed is basically going to uh, give you advanced option to have an incremental uh, like a two way uh, whenever the you do the failover of, of the virtual machine from a source to destination or destination to source is going to give you the uh, allow you to only replicate the data which is lastly modified from the uh, from the fail back or failover so you can select that so for that just click uh, you need to go ahead and you can select these the set as CD is corrected you can go and click next and this is going to your uh, recovery point objective so you can set from the 5 minute to 24 hours so currently it's set to by default it's going to set to 1 hour so you can set that as per your requirement so I'm going to set it to 30 minutes and enable recovery point if you want you can enable so I'm going to instant instance per day 3 and for day f of uh, 5 days so it's going to keep the f uh, basically a 15 recovery point for this machine and then uh, if you have a something like specifically running like a uh, um, which you want to uh, have the questing also you can do it like if you have a database SQL server or the exchange SharePoint all these stuff running on the uh, virtual machine or active directory running on these machine you can enable it and also you have option to enable the uh, network compression for the VR data uh, basically a uh, 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 replication data so you can take if you want to have a um, compression and click next and this is going to be uh, your all the configuration which we have gone through so the target is going to be INDR which is our DR site auto assign to virtual machine crossing is enabled network compression is able encryption is disabled recovery point is going to be 30 minutes and point of recovery enabled and instance for recoveries keep three instance per day and at least for five days so just click on finish so once you click on finish it's going to create you can see the configure a virtual machine replication task is going to run and here you can see the um, the task is completed now and you can see now initial sync is running so if I refresh this so you can see it started 1% and for the second machine also it's going to be started soon so both machine is now 1% completed so the basic um, uh, the first uh, initial sync is going to transfer all the virtual machine hard disk data from source to destination and once the initial sync is completed it's only going to send the ch um, uh, basically the replicate uh, the data which is modified since the last um, last sync so like uh, if we have set every 30 minutes so it's going to say uh, send the data which is uh, uh, basically write it after the last 30 minute or last sync so 
this is how we can configure the replication so it's going to take the some time depending on the how much data you have in your um, in your virtual machine itself so I recommend to run such uh, initial sync if you want to run over the network run at the off business hours or if you have uh, a budget you can go ahead and have a dedicated link for site replication to, to send traffic or dedicated van if you are running from the one data center to another data center in a other geographical location then you can have a dedicated link for the uh, uh, VMware site replication if you have large number of virtual machine and if you have a large number of data to be resynced every um, RPO time so uh, you need to make sure of, uh, about those consideration also whenever you are going to have a uh, whenever you are going to configure the RPO and all so yeah so this is all about the how you can configure the replication and VMware vSphere replication in next videos we are going to have a, 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 a basically we are going to do the failover and we are going to see how, how you can recover the virtual machine at the DR site and how and then how you can send send those uh, virtual machine back to your production data st uh, data center once you have a uh, like outage over so thanks for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye